okay? AP calculus, AB, this is some of the things that you're going to see on this AP test that's coming up. And I want to make sure you, you guys, would, that we don't get fooled here. So if you don't mind, take out your calculator and write down this problem. Find the area bounded by the function f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared and g of x is equal to x squared minus 4. So maybe you can see these are a little bit of reflection of one another. So <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm trying to prove to you. There's this huge problem here, this misunderstanding. I'm going to take the first function. I'm going to take... I'll take g of x first. Let's just take a look at it. So here's g of x, right? And it's here. And what I did was I took the area of this curve between here and here. And the area says it came back as negative 10. And then I took the second function, which is this one. Whoops, sorry. That's not true. It's a lie. It's a dirty lie. Oh, here it is. Yeah. There it is. Sorry. So I took the second function, and there's it says that the area of this function is 10.7. So here's my question. We are asked to find the area bounded by both of them, and it says here that the area of one is 10.7 and the area of the other is negative 10.7. So what would you expect? I put these two curves together now. If this is 10.7 and this is negative 10.7, then you would probably expect the area to be zero, right? 10.7 minus 10.7 is zero. And that is an answer that they'll provide you on the on the AP Calculus AB exam. However, that would be wrong. That would be the wrong answer. If they ask you for net area, which they don't use those terms, net area, but if they did, then that then zero would be true. If they ask you to find the indefinite integral from this number to that, then it could be, then these can cancel out. Otherwise, for us, area is absolute value stuff to us. It's absolute value. So if the, the area of this green part here is 10.7 and the area of this is negative 10.7 then the absolute value of negative 10.7 is positive 10.7 and we'd add the two together so this is what I did how I did it was this I looked and I saw that 4 minus x squared is over x squared minus 4 everywhere so I put that in as a new function and here's that function right here I knew that 4 minus x squared was the top function that's over here, if you can see it, right here. And that x squared minus 4, which is this one, the red one down here, was underneath of it. And I just subtracted and made a new function. And then I took the derivative from one place to the other, and it came out approximately the same. right? So if you saw an answer very close to this answer here, that was the answer you would take. So this is just a tale of caution. I want you to be very careful when you take the AP exam. The pass rate is very low, so we need to make sure that we're not making any dumb mistakes. So... Um, I'm sure somebody's going to write to me and they're going to say, how did I do all this stuff in my calculator? I'll gladly show you that, but this video was just to remind you, and I'm going to say it again, was just to remind you that we have got to be careful that area will never be negative. So this area, even though it says it's negative 10.7, it's the absolute value of that, and that's how we have to look at that. So we can't, we can't look at that as if it's negative area. So this would, the area here, this negative 10.7, would be the absolute value of 10.7, which would be 10.7. All right? All right, I really hope this was helpful. Please be careful. Make notes to yourself that that's going to be an issue on the AP exam. Right? And you're going to see lots of those problems. And also make sure you're writing in good calculus. Comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.